Let's travel back in time today. Los Angeles, Hollywood Boulevard, at the L. Ron Hubbard Life Exhibition. January 17th was a special night for protesters. William, Chris, Jess, Danny, and Chris wait for Sea Org members, including the Office of Special Affairs International, to leave the building and get on the big white buses. That night, they noticed one of the many Scientology front groups applied scholastics for the first time. They offer tutoring for children, unfortunately, according to Hubbard's methods. Chris likes to call these buses mothership. The plan for the night was not to leave until the Scientologists leave the building. Normally, the bus comes every hour and transports the Scientologists from one place to another. They come and go because they work in two shifts, which means that work is going on around the clock in this building. Tonight, everything is different because they refuse to leave the building to avoid being filmed by the protesters. They avoid showing their faces to the world. Family members of these Sea Org members may see the footage and be motivated to contact them. Sea Org members are cut off from the outside world. No internet, no smartphone, no contact with their families. This is the best way for a cult to control its members. Streets tells Chris on the scene how Scientology security overstepped their boundaries and made him say, I'm ending your cult. That's how it started and the rest is history. This is where I all started at. This is where I was... I was here coming where it all stop. started. And the only angle I could get to the police stop was right here. Because they had a car that was parked here. They were handcuffing guys over here and they were searching the car over there. And they thought they were so part I of was, them. So I was standing about right here. They told me I had to move. So kept on saying over again, you gotta move, you gotta move. And and I'm like, it was like a Saturday night, 11 o'clock at night. The, the, the speaker? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, you know, I'm not in the way of anything. Like, you're yeah. in the way, you're a fire hazard. They had this whole street was full of cops. Yeah. Like, you're a fire hazard. You're a fire what hazard. the hell? They kept on coming out here and trying to bump into me on purpose over and over again. And That's a solid. The stop. There was four cop cars right here. They had the handcuffs. Yeah. And then finally, the security guard came out and started arguing with me. He told me to suck his, you know what? So I told my mom, I said, I'm going to end your cult now. Oh, this is where it happened. Right here. I was sitting right here. Talk, talk about the apology after, though. Uh, that was, oh, a, that was That's the only time they apologized, right? Well, the, the, I was sitting here one night, maybe a month ago, and the guy, the other security guard came out. And I was telling him how it all started. And he's like, if I get an apology from the guy, then, you know. I'm like, no, it's too late for that. <laughs> it's way too late for that. But it wasn't written? It was just said? or He just said it on uh, he wanted to apologize. The the That's room. the first he time. Freaked out when I, when I mentioned his nose room. Yeah. But yeah, they kept on coming out of here. They didn't want me to stand here. Yeah. Just, they were, and then they kept on trying to appeal to the cops. The cops are right here, and they're like, you know, we'll call the cops. I'm like, the cops are right there. He's like, yeah, we'll, we'll call them. I'm like, do it right now. They're right there. <laughs> the cops were just looking just, away. They wanted no part of it. Yeah. They're used to teaming up with the cops to bully people and then this one time the cops weren't feeding into it they didn't know how to handle it they kept on escalating right. here we are today because of that because of turkey neck hey turkey neck i know you can hear me they'll, they'll, they'll talk shit right there yeah. turkey neck is all because of you he comes out here I, last time, <laughs> it was like five days ago, six days ago. He was flashing his light in my face. No way. So apparently, the bus we putting up out here, guys. That's they that's where the bus. The so yeah, they own, they own this, this, this. This is a different place, yeah, I'm guys. Not sure about that. I don't think so because the shades are open. But they do own this and all that. So when they see it, all day long, all day long. With a lot of patience and a megaphone. The protesters go to work and inform the Scientologists about their option. Well, we're going to be here for a while, buddies. I think we're going to camp out here. <laughs> we're going to put a tent. <laughs> they're slick. If they see us over here, sometimes they'll pull the bus in front. Oh, we'll them. hear it. So yeah. kind of like keep an eye on both. Yeah. I also look over there crossing the street because they'll circle the neighborhood. It's the funniest thing in the world. Yeah. yeah. Guys, the Aftermath Foundation can help your Scientology Sea Organization. Tell them the number. I forgot the number. Somebody typed the, the number. I know the number. Oh, really? It's right here. Can you see? The number is 956 752 8484. Can you see? Yeah. Oh. 956. The Aftermath Foundation can help you escape the Sea Organization. The phone number is 956 752 8484.
They all you peek and they're like, <laughs> they're like, what is this? <laughs> they're like, we, we haven't seen this. We haven't seen this. We haven't seen this. I see him peeking out the window. You love it. Peekaboo. Shelly Miscavige hasn't been seen since 2007. Scientology is a cult, guys. <laughs> They're like, what did Scientology do to pull this in? <laughs> they got my boy arrested, bro. They called 16 I times. Uh, the yeah. The more they do it, the more inspired we get. Somebody said it's like four blocks. This is the main, their main building, really. They don't want us out here. Um, no peeking. They're gonna call it call. <laughs> they all peeking. Peekaboo. <laughs> it's like the chickens, guys. Where's the chicken? Where's my chicken go? Where's my chicken go? <laughs> yeah. Guacamole Scientology of this shit. <laughs> La Fundación Aftermath te puede ayudar a escapar de Scientología. El número es 956-752-8484. Oh oh. Oh oh. Oh oh. Uh oh. You guys are up to no good, huh? Huh. Are you behaving yourself? Scientologist. Ah, oh, you're the Brian guy. I don't know. Is it full of people? Yeah. No, it's like, oh no, yeah, it's full. One, Damn. Two, three. They pack up the van, look, all the way to the back. That's how you know, see everyone. Three people in the back too. What the? It's full. What the hell are y'all doing? What kind of crime are y'all committing now? It's full, guys. It's full of people. Even the back has three people. They hide in the building, don't want to be seen, and don't want to come out. Chris calls the Scientologists duckies, which is kind of funny, but gets him a call from the LAPD months later. Why? He said he's going ducky hunting, which means he wants to catch her with his camera. Scientologists took this as an opportunity to call the LAPD for a welfare check on Chris. Little duckies, two duckies. I saw two little duckies. Yeah, now they're going back. Two little duckies going back. Then they go to the other side of the street because one of the many Scientology front groups, Applied Scholastics, has a store there. Look guys, this is right here kind of disgusting. Well, very disgusting, actually. You know, they like to prey on my people. English as a second language. Education and literacy. Based on the works so of El Kids Try to rope them in, right? And it's an education, literacy, study skills, tutoring, a tutoring operation. Of course, they make sure they have English as a second language, too. If you look closely, it says education services and materials based on the works of L. Ron Hubbard. Based on the works of L. Ron Hubbard. One-on-one. -on -one. 101 touring or 101 uh, auditing? What do you guys prefer? Supposedly, uh, like, like for school, for kids? Education? Based on the based works on the of L. Ron Hubbard. Disgusting. Hey, can you do me a favor and check if you already have a subscription? My stats have shown me that more than 40% of my viewers have not subscribed. Without a subscription, you might miss the next video. After almost four hours of long waiting, it is almost two o'clock in the morning. Finally a success. Scientology gave up and the protesters were able to film the first group boarding the large bus. They were given a lot of interesting information. It's a decoy. <laughs> there we go! There we go! Too easy! Nico! Come on! They're all here, Chess. Come on! They're all here! Woo! Hey! 
I see all of them. Hey, put it the high, high, high. Here to destroy yeah. Earth. Yeah, yeah, let me see if y'all could. Danny Masterson raped three women. Danny Masterson raped three women and Scientology covered it up. Scientology covered up the rape of three women. Scientology covered up the rape of three women. They, they could get on my way, shut up. The door. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh, these people are coming out. I'm coming through. The Aftermath Foundation can help you guys. The Aftermath Foundation can help you guys. Look at you guys. Look at you guys. The Aftermath Foundation can help you guys. Hey guys, I'm actually Zenu. The Aftermath Foundation. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. Trying to leave the Look at these guys hiding behind their masks. The number is hiding behind nine, their masks. Five, six, seven, hiding behind five, their masks. Two, eight, four, making eight, four. fake threats. You guys, I want you guys to make leave fake threats. You're not ashamed of yourselves. The C You're not ashamed of all of the women who've been the raped and the coerced abortions. Nine, five, six, Look at seven, you guys. Five, two, eight, four, eight, four. The Aftermath Foundation can help you guys escape. Look at this guy. This guy looks 16 years old. This guy looks 16 years old. How long have you been in Scientology, sir? How long have you all been of in Scientology? Traffic, all of you. Look at hey, all of these guys. Them. Look at these high ups. Hey, don't touch them. Hey, call the cops. Don't touch them. Look at these Scientologists right here. Look at these Scientologists. Sir, how long have you been in Scientology? Sir, how many women have been raped? Let me see what happens. Touch me, see what happens. Exactly. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm calling the cops on you. It's going to be another battery case. L. Yeah, how do you feel? L it's gonna be every night for you guys. It's gonna be every night for you guys. This is what this is what their game looks like. All those little games you're playing, little British guy. Every fucking night. Every night. Every night. And there's nothing, absolutely nothing that you can do about it. Nothing. Take your old ass back inside. We own you. Bitches. Get the. Fuck That was awesome. That was fun. Yay! Yay! Well, that that's more than enough. I'm sure. Huh? <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my gosh, they pissed their pants. They pissed their pants. And guess what, Scientology? We're going to do this every day. Hey, Aaron, did you see that? Is Aaron in the chat? While the group waits for the next batch of Scientologists, they engage in cop watching. Street's first passion, and as luck would have it, there's an operation in their immediate vicinity. Halt! Scientology is a cult. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. Smile for the camera. Don't touch me, sir. Don't touch me. Scientology covered up the rape of three women. Three women. You guys covered it up. Danny Masterson raped three women. You guys covered it up. Guys, please don't block the door. No, no, you don't block the door. We're on public property. You don't own the sidewalk, you don't own the street. Look at these Scientologists. You don't know what to do, look at them. Look at the security guard, he yeah. has no idea what to do. Fair game, fair, fair game. game. If you're trying to leave Scientology, the Aftermath Foundation can help you. You guys gotta get some sleep for your- 956 752 Come out here, don't hide now. You're guilty. Yeah. You guys, you guys are covering up all those, kid, all that human trafficking, all the rapes that you guys are covered up. You guys proud of that? You guys proud of all the, the crimes you covered up? This is what fair game looks like. This is what fair, if your safety doesn't feel safe, it's on him. Don't touch her. Stop touching her. Don't touch her. Look at 
Why Stop you touching him. Touching You're only touching me, the guard. Another, uh, Danny you, why are you touching women, huh? Security guard? Oh, this guy must look up to Danny Mastin. You guys, right, you guys, you guys, you guys are happy with the rape that have been covered up by your organization? Oh, oh, oh. Are you happy There's about the rapes you guys have been covering up? Is there shame? Is there shame? Is there shame about the rapes that you guys have covered up? You guys are modern day slaves, you know that? You're overworked and not the same. Pack it up, guys. Pack it up, guys. Pack it up. The bus, pack it up. Pack it up. Take it back to the compound. Load it up. Spaceship. The space navy. Oh, they almost closed it on that guy. Fair game. This is what fair game looks like. You guys want to call? private investigators and harass people. This is what fair game looks like. We own this street, not you. You, you, do you know, you were here first, right? Did you see them literally running? Yeah. They were literally yeah, it was us too. running out yeah. of the door. Oh Holy my God. Yeah, you saw it, right? Yeah, I saw it. They were yeah, literally I saw. running. I'm gonna do this every night. Ask us if we would do this every night. We say yeah, often. I'm gonna sell my house and just live on the street. <laughs> like at this point, we might as well chase that entire all day. At this point. And you know what? The cops can't do anything. Exactly. They said, get out of your way when you're getting into the freaking bus. Shut up. Hey, one, one, one in there, when I was reading the Aftermath Foundation, it says, shut up. I'm like, come out here and tell me that. Shut up. Yeah, one person said shut up. I heard it. Well, yeah, we're here. This guy should get a CDL revoked for parking in this. 20 minutes later, the next bus arrives to pick up the next batch of Scientologists. This time, it's going to be someone very special. Because a few days earlier, Streets was spat on by a Russian-speaking guy. He was arrested, and it seems that he is a Scientologist and wants to get on the bus. No one can say for sure, but there are just too many coincidences to ignore. No matter what Scientology has tried, they have not achieved their goal. Four months later, and 190 live streamers and activists, later the movement is growing, the test center is closed, and Scientology is hiding. I had a lot of fun working through this day and creating the video. How did you like it? I look forward to a like from you and don't forget to sub. Water. I need another water, buddy. I need another water. My goodness, bro. Hey, bro, you there? I think they're coming through. Yeah. This is just sad, bro. Sad. 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 Guys. Oh, there's a spitter right here. There's a spitter right here. He spit on you? No, there's a spit. The guy that's no, there's a spit. The guy that spit on you. It gotta be him, right? Yeah, that's him. That is. Sure. This is the guy who spit yeah. on me with the mask. This is with the guy the who hoodie. got arrested for spitting on this me. This guy got arrested. This guy got so arrested. Easy. He's a Scientologist. Look at him. The Look at him. Now he's, he's with y'all. This is the guy who spit on me. You got arrested, Mr. Russian Not guy. Not that hard. You Not fucking hard. spit on me, you fucking slob. And this is you guys defending Protecting him. Just like how you did you with Danny you Masterson. Know. Just like how you guys defended Danny Masterson. Yeah, the way you guys defend human trafficking. How do you feel about your human trafficking, uh huh? How do you feel about that? Then you go defending human trafficking. You fucking pile of shit. You are a pile of shit. That's who you are. You defend human trafficking. You piles of shit, both of That was good eye. I have the best eyes that I've ever seen. I've also seen the multiple judges at the court here, and I've seen them before. He was getting on the bus. I thought they were lying there like, the spitters by will. I'm like, all right. 
Move that bus. Move that bus. Amelia. No, no, we were joking. Amelia. Uh. Sorry. No.